Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, this is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information about Bookmap, go to bookmap.com. Uh, and uh, there is a free trial for 14 days. Uh, and that will allow you access to a lot of other resources uh, like the advanced order flow webinars, which uh, occur in about uh, 28 minutes, uh, and a host of other resources as well. Um, the, uh, if you have any issues or uh, questions, you can reach us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, um, let me show you here uh, the bookmap.com website uh, here. Uh, if you're a member, uh, well, you, you know how to log in here. Just hit the, hit the member button. Uh, the uh, free webinars, obviously, you know you know how to sign up for that since you're here. Uh, explore. Okay, so if you hit explore, uh, there's these intro videos here uh, for those of you who are new here. Uh, and um, then you can scroll down here. And let's uh, let's go down the, a bit here. You can go through some of the uses and benefits of Bookmap. Uh, and then we continue on some of our partners uh, here. Uh, and then uh, we'll continue on and look at the connectivity. Okay, Bookmap is not a data provider. We're just a software platform. Uh, we're a fully fully featured uh, software platform, uh, but you will need to provide your own features data. Okay, so these are the ways that we connect, as you can see here. Uh, we'll scroll down a little bit further. Uh, this is where you can find Bookmap um, for, um, for, for the free trial uh, or for purchase. Uh, you get a 14-day trial with uh, these two different versions here, Bookmap Basic and the Bookmap Advanced. Uh, it's really the same. Um, it's all the same program. There's just different features, okay? Uh, Bookmap uh, Basic, Advanced, and Quant. Uh, the difference between the two, uh, well, you can click down here to this link to compare and contrast uh, the different features. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, and then you can uh, see the different uh, different versions here. Okay, there's also a web version as well. Okay, and that's through Tradeavate. Uh, and then uh, you can look at the differences here, and you can see what uh, the Quant version offers uh, compared to the advanced version, or the advanced version here compared to the basic version here. Okay, so primarily uh, is the ability to trade from the chart, uh, and um, uh, all of these uh, add-on indicators. Okay, so uh, that's what uh, you get with the advanced version, uh, as well as a, a second a free license for replay mode only. All right, uh, so that's um, the differences uh, between the two here, uh, and uh, and you can see the price differences, and they are billed quarterly, so it's for three months each. Uh, and um, let's see, uh, let's move along, go into um, the uh, Twitter page here. You can follow us on Twitter. You get up-to-date information, as you can see here. Uh, and um, then we can go to our YouTube page, and uh, there's all sorts of videos that are featured here. Okay, uh, so let's uh, just quickly go through it. There's an intro video here. It's just a minute and nine seconds, as you can see. Uh, and then um, the features and components videos. These are all playlists here. So I can click on this actually, and it will take me to the playlist, and you get all of the uh, uh, different videos that are in this playlist here. Uh, it starts at the top here with the Bookmap 6.0 overview, okay, and then the 5.0 overview. Uh, let's go back. Uh, the order flow, the order flow video snippets uh, next here. These are very concise videos, uh, just a few minutes long, that go through uh, important order flow phenomena that we see in Bookmap. Okay, and this is similar to the advanced analysis webinars uh, that I mentioned uh, just uh, some minutes ago. Okay, so there's two webinars. Um, this platform webinar is for you to ask any questions about the, how the platform operates and what it's displaying. Uh, the next webinar at 11 is for those that are in trial or current customers and they are beyond that point. Uh, they don't really have questions about the platform anymore. They have questions about order flow. And we go into, we just dive right in to the order flow and go through it in that webinar. So. These videos here uh, are very concise um, 
small videos that go through a lot of the phenomena that we see during the live webinars. So uh, if you want to feel for that, you can watch some of these. Uh, there's also some selected webinars down below here. Okay, so if you want a taste uh, of what the um, uh, live uh, order flow um, ad advanced analysis uh, webinars look like, you can watch some of these here. Uh, you can see it's a month old or more, a little more than a month old. Uh, and then you can also see here our Pro Trader webinar series that we had just last week. If you want to watch some of these professional traders using Bookmap, okay. All right, so let's jump in here and take a look at Bookmap uh, and um, uh, get into uh, some of uh, the features and uh, what Bookmap is actually showing us here. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's choose a market. Uh, what seems to be moving? Uh, we chose oil yesterday. We saw some great moves in oil yesterday, and um, I'm still uh, interested in, in oil. So let's let's take a look at that. We're coming down to an interesting level here on the higher time frame. Uh, here is the oil market, uh, and uh, let me zoom out. Okay, so now it looks like there's a lot going on here in the book map chart. Uh, it looks very complex. It's actually really simple uh, stuff. It's it's uh, very objective uh, information here being displayed, and it's a, a very true, uh, uh, transparent, and um, objective view of the marketplace. So let me explain a little bit, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time here and to do that, uh, and I'm just gonna strip away uh, a lot of the data here, okay? And we're just gonna make it really simple to begin with. Okay, we're going to look at a five-minute candlestick chart okay, of oil. So we're all accustomed to this view, open, high, low, close of a five-minute period. Now, the problem with this here is that those are only four data points, and we're making financial trading decisions based on four data points that are not giving us a lot of information here. I have no idea where the volume took place. I do have a volume subchart, as you can see. So I just know that there was volume down here. That's it. I don't know where it took place on this candlestick or on these candlesticks moving to the upside. Uh, I don't know what type of volume it was. Uh, I don't know what, um, uh, how much uh, exactly uh, where uh, in that five minute period. Okay. And there's also uh, microstructures within this five minute period that is just is completely uh, lost uh, in the candlesticks. Okay, because it aggregates back and forth within that five minute period. So let's turn on historical best bid and offer only. Okay, and we're, we're already getting a lot more information here and just looking at some of the microstructures that are uh, broken. Uh, and, um, and then we see moves uh, uh, beyond those little structures and pullbacks to them. Like just small example right here. Okay, we're gonna probably see a lot of buying, uh, lifting the offer, uh, into this area here, and then you can see that uh, uh, we see one more nice uh, push to the upside. Well, we get a pullback where? Where exactly? Right to this little microstructure where they were buying previously, okay? So this is what uh, the kind of detail that we're already seeing just by looking at historical best bid and offer, okay? The green line is the historical best bid, and the red line is the best offer. Okay. This is the current market window here, uh, and we'll get into the dome as well, okay, the depth of market over here, this column. But uh, here is your current best bid and offer, and this number here is your last traded volume. Okay, So now we're, getting, we're, we're starting to put on the layers of, uh, of depth here and understanding of what's going on with price. Uh, let's add the volume now. Okay. So now uh, we have a lot more detail and understanding of where traders are committed, exactly where they're committed, okay? Where on price, in, in, uh, at what price levels, uh, how much, uh, and what type, okay? So for example, uh, look at this nice move to the downside, okay? The majority of that volume is, uh, took place right here, okay? And we can see it. And now this is a pie display here of the volume, and it's just because so many transactions took place here uh, that um, uh, uh, we, uh, we, we have to dis display it as a, uh, an, an overall delta. And you can see the majority of it, like two-thirds of it here, is selling. Okay, so let me get a click on the uh, Move tool. I'm going to hover over this area, and then I'm going to zoom in. And you're going to note how I start to pull apart all of that activity here. 
okay? And I can, I can see the very small microstructural details here, and I can see uh, exactly what traded on the historical best bid and offer, okay? And you can see here, we see a little bit of uh, algorithmic activity, in fact. Uh, I can see the, this uh, algo working uh, the sell side here. Uh, it's uh, uh, hitting the bid here, hitting again, hitting again, and then it's activated over here as well, okay? Um, so let me describe a little bit about the volume because um, we're looking at um, uh, uh, the aggressor classification of the volume, okay? And what does that mean? So a red dot here is an aggressive market sell order. Someone hit the market sell button, okay? They took liquidity off of the best bid. It's considered aggressive because uh, they were willing to pay the spread. They were not willing to wait, all right? Uh, and uh, a green dot would be an aggressive market buy that takes place, uh, well, we don't see too many here, uh, on, the, um, uh, on the best offer, and they take liquidity from the best offer, okay? This is truly how the market works, okay? Back and forth all day long. Uh, the um, liquidity providers uh, are providing limit orders, and uh, uh, the liquidity takers are the market uh, uh, participants uh, with our market, their aggressive market orders, okay? All right, so you can see that I can zoom in here uh, to these extreme levels uh, as I pull apart each trade uh, activity here, and you can see that there are many trades within trades. We're down at microsecond level, okay? We're looking at millions of seconds. Okay, so you can see that Bookmap has the uh, power to uh, show and display every single market event. Uh, now, we don't trade at these levels unless you're trading algorithmically, which is originally why Bookmap was, was developed to see the per and understand the performance of various automa automated strategies. Okay, so now as I zoom out though, note how these two trades, individual trades, will um, uh, just visually and graphically aggregate together, okay? And this will continue to happen, as you'll see, as I zoom out, and it becomes a bigger uh, dot. And it gives you the overall delta if there's buying within that area as well, okay? So now we have a clear understanding of what took place here. Here's where the initiated sellers came into the market, right here at this area. Okay, at uh, 5161, and they pulled the market down. Okay, we get a small retest right to where we broke from a couple times, uh, but the buyers, uh, there's a little bit of buying here, no question. There's no buying here. Okay, we see a little bit of exhaustion here, and we see the move to the downside. Okay, so uh, now we're getting a lot more insight to exactly where these traders are committed, and uh, uh, that's a problem that uh, we don't. Uh, we don't get that kind of transparency with this candlestick. All of that information is completely lost. Uh, we're just looking at the subchart of where the volume um, uh, took place uh, just uh, uh, in, in general, a very, very generalized uh, view of the volume, okay? So, uh, in fact, uh, as I zoom out here, note how um, this the big uh, sell-off that we see here, note how we pulled right back to it here. Okay, this is something that um, uh, we see again and again uh, in the order flow. This is where the selling initiated, as we noted, and we get a retest back to it. And then we see continuation to the downside, All right? So this is the kind of analysis that we go through in the advanced order flow webinars. Uh, but uh, let me uh, take a step back and, and we're just describing and showing what book map is displaying uh, and defining uh, the, um, uh, user interface here and what and what you're looking at. Okay, so that's the traded volume. Uh, there are many different ways to filter the volume as well uh, in Bookmap. Uh, let me let me know if you have any questions about that. Happy to answer them. Uh, the um, uh, here's that same phenomena that we just covered. Okay, and I, this is in the beginning of the webinar. I, I spoke about this little microstructural area here and initiated buyers here pulling price up. Look at the return. Where did it return back to? Right where they initiated previously. Okay, this is one of the things that we look at uh, during the live order flow analysis. Uh, I'm anticipating 
buyers to support this at this area, and indeed they did. Okay, now we get one more test back down here and uh, the, the buyers did not support it. And in fact, uh, this became a kind of a critical uh, area here at 5170. As you can see, we, we accepted down below it. Okay, all right, so anyway, that's the traded volume and the insights that it gives you. It's very much like a footprint chart, except there's a big distinction. Uh, it's even uh, giving you a lot more detail than a footprint chart because we're showing you the microstructures. This this information is not aggregated. Okay, uh, you can continue to zoom in and look at the little uh, microstructural areas and how price behaved and when the initiated buyers came in. All right, so that's the advantage that you get there. Now, traded volume is excellent. Uh, it, there is another side to the order flow, uh, and uh, that is the intent of the traders. And that we look at, uh, to understand that, we look at the, uh, the dome, the depth of market, where the traders lined up to deal, okay? It is an auction, uh, and we see that here in the book map COB column, which is the current order book. OK, and um, we can see the traders lined up uh, to deal at these specific areas. OK, now these numbers are changing all day long uh, and um, the uh, uh, liquidity uh, provided here, uh, maybe the seller uh, or the buyer down here uh, on the bid, this side here, uh, they don't they don't want to uh, participate any longer in the pull of liquidity. Or maybe they really want to buy and they start adding liquidity here. Uh, and then they, they're actually adding at higher areas. It gives you insight to the intent of the traders, okay? Now we also see fake liquidity all the time, okay? But we can discern, make a, a distinction between those that have the intent and those that do not, okay? And uh, we can get more into that, but uh, uh, what really matters is when price approaches them, do they pull or are they adding, uh, a, a chasing? Uh, wanting, wanting to get into the market, okay? So now the problem with the dome here, although it's great for the current market condition, uh, when these numbers change, then we have no clue what it was before unless you memorize it, okay? That's gonna be pretty hard to do over a long period of time, okay? Now Bookmap will solve that problem by showing you the historical limit order book. So we take this data here in the dome and uh, we turn it into a heat map, okay? Uh, let me show you, okay? So it's in this window here with the with the, um, uh, the best bid and offer currently in the market with the two dashed lines here, okay? And then you can see the heat map here, okay? This is a, a graphical representation of the liquidity in the book, okay? So we see immediately high liquidity here at 5160 uh, on the bid and then up here uh, at um, uh, 5178 uh, with uh, 189 contracts on the offer. Okay, and uh, we're kind of channeling between that area right now. Okay, now if I zoom in a little bit, you're gonna see the heat map change a bit and uh, note the change uh, here uh, in this window with the, with the heat map um, in the, the grayscale. Okay, the reflection of these numbers. When these numbers change, you'll see the heat map change. Okay, so it's just graphically representing uh, the uh, the dome. Where this gets interesting is we take this data here and then we project it onto the chart historically. Okay, so now I have a really good understanding where they want to buy. Okay, and in fact, I'm seeing some a lot of buying interest underneath here being very aggressive uh, right underneath price. Uh, and they're skewing the market and pressing price up into this high liquidity that is waiting here. So we're going to probably come up and test now 78. And uh, maybe we can even get up to 5190 and maybe the figure 52. Okay. So uh, we, we can start to understand, engage uh, the auction. Okay. Where are they lined up and what is their intent by their behavior? Okay. And we get a feel for that. Okay, think of these areas here just like an auction. And uh, these traders up here, they want to sell. So far, it looks like they want to sell. They're waiting up here. And uh, what about the areas around it? Are they are they starting to um, chase after it? Do they want to sell uh, uh, at lower levels? 
Well, that would be kind of bearish behavior. Okay? And we're seeing a little bit of that. We can see it here as price came up toward it and they added at a lower level. Okay, but uh, we've got a nice little battle going on here as the buyers are pressing price up underneath as well. Okay, and uh, they're pulling though at the last minute. So uh, do they really have the intent to trade uh, here in some of these areas? This is shorter term liquidity. It's high liquidity because of it, its uh, bright uh, white areas, but they're only in the market for a very brief period. Okay. So as soon as uh, uh, you know the market uh, uh, moves uh, or maybe comes toward them, they'll, they'll pull. Uh, it doesn't really show their intent uh, to to uh, to trade. Okay, like in this little area here. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. Look how price came down here and they pulled. Price went away. They added back in and then they pulled again and pulled again, etc. Okay, they're trying. It looks to me like they're skewing this auction pressing price up into this longer term liquidity that is waiting up here at 78. All right. So there's all sorts of ways that uh, we read this liquidity and make that distinction between the longer term and shorter term liquidity. Uh, but uh, skewing the auction re will repel price. It's something new. Uh, the other areas uh, where longer term liquidity is resting is like a, a, a magnet, it's a target for um, uh, for price. Uh, it knows that the market knows it can trade there, okay? So price is attracted to those areas because the market needs liquidity to trade. All right. Uh, Robert, yeah, these, these are recorded. Um, uh, I can show you where uh, they are. Okay, so here we are, now we're testing into that higher liquidity that uh, we identified earlier at 78. We're right in it, and uh, let's, uh, let's watch this uh, uh, take place here, okay? So note how we started to trade into it, and then they actually started to pull, okay? This is, we're probably gonna see a phenomenon here that we, we, we see all the time, um, and that is uh, called a flip of the book. They were here on the offer, and let's see if they flip to the, um, to the bid. Uh, and uh, and then maybe we will uh, accept uh, above this 78 level. Okay, actually that uh, that did not play out. Um, so we actually rejected uh, at at this point we've rejected that breakout here. Uh, we're right back into the uh, into the range. Okay, uh, but uh, it was looking pretty good here. I saw these guys on the on the bid here, and then they then they pulled. Okay. Look at the uh, look at uh, the press down here. Now this has got to be the same individual actor here. High liquidity skewing the auction. High liquidity. Uh, they that once they pull, they add it one tick below, and then they pull again and one tick below. See, note how this had an effect on price, and note how they uh, were hitting the bid at the same time. Okay. Combine those two together. Now up here, these guys that bought this breakout. They're going to be trapped. It's going to be trapped volume. Where are they going to cover? Probably down here, uh, you know, around this uh, 5170 area, 72, uh, and um, uh, maybe even further. Okay, maybe we'll come down to 5165. Okay, and why do I pick that area? Because that's where there's liquidity. Okay, we can see it. Okay. All right, so here they are at 70, okay? Uh, I was looking actually at 72, but they're at, at 70, okay? And uh, let's see if uh, they uh, uh, really have that intent to trade or not. Okay, so far so good. I mean, you know, they're, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they were staying here. Okay, they started to pull a little bit here, but they were, they were interested in buying here, okay? You can see some of the algorithmic activity here starting to chase okay okay let's see if we get one more rotation back up here maybe we'll get our flip of the book uh, as well okay any questions so in general uh, what we're what we're really looking at here uh, is a very, very objective view. Now, the candlestick, to be honest, 
uh, is more complex than everything else that you're looking at here because uh, you have to understand the concept of that candle and exactly what uh, it is displaying and there's a lot of a lot of different ways of reading those uh, and uh, instead what you're getting here uh, with bookmap is a, a very transparent objective view of what is taking place and what took place exactly what took place okay so uh, where the volume took place on the historical best bid and offer uh, and then where they were lined up to bid and offer and that's basically it okay and uh, so um, now we can start to look at some of these areas uh, and start to really understand the auction uh, because we can read the behavior of these guys in the auction. Okay. It's it's like showing up to an auction and, and knowing if there's a big uh, a big player who uh, is uh, is really interested in buying with size, and he you know he sticks out like a sore thumb. Well, that, that's kind of what we're looking at here in Bookmap. Okay, and then we can also see where the traders are committed. Okay, now. It's important, uh, and we emphasize this in the advanced webinars, uh, to understand this in context. Okay, it is a dynamic market. There are all sorts of players. There's all sorts of things going on here. This is not some sort of binary mathematical equation. Okay, uh, we want to read very much like market profile or volume profile. We are reading the majority of the traders. Uh, not only where they're committed in their trades by the volume, okay, but we're also understanding the majority of the participants on the offer and the bid uh, to understand the uh, the entire auction here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's see. Um, uh, for those of you in the um, uh, in trial, uh, I'll see you over in the. Uh, uh, advanced analysis webinar. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. You can reach out uh, at support at bookmap.com and um, uh, happy to uh, uh, assist or answer any questions that you have. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks. And uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow. Okay. Take care.